particular reason, I decided to go for a little run. So I ran to the end of the road. And when I got there, I thought maybe I'd run to the end of town. President Carter, suffering from heat exhaustion, fell into the arms and when of I got there, I thought maybe I'd just run across Greenbow County. And I figured since they run this far, maybe I'd just run across the great state of Alabama. And that's what I did. I ran clear across Alabama. For no particular reason, I just kept on going. Why are you doing this? I just felt like running. I just felt like running. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, September 1st, and it is a black day. I'm Lily Prater. And I'm Danielle Brown. Will please stand for the Pledge to the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please sit for a moment of silence. All students that have a desire to attend the U.S. Military Academy should attend Military Academy Day at Snorville High School on Saturday, September 26, from 10 to noon. See Ms. Moyer for more details. Ms. Thompson's Student of the Month for September is Mark Navarro. Mark is always on task in class, pays attention, and asks great questions. He is respectful to both Ms. Thompson and his classmates, and he is commonly helping others understand class material. He is hardworking and a pleasure to be around. He is he always smiles and has a great sense of humor. Congratulations, Mark. Corning <laughs> County Chamber of Commerce Youth Leadership applications are now available. Applications must be completed and submitted electronically by Wednesday, September 9th. Please see Do Dr. Thompson, Ms. Long, or Dr. Hayes for instructions on completing them in Google Docs. Special ACT order study vouchers are here. If you're a junior or senior, you can take the ACT for half price on Saturday, October 24th. Get your voucher from Deborah Moyer, Brenda Moss, or Kendra Arnold so you can get signed up by September 18th. No late registrations will be available. Students, please make sure your parking tags are displayed. Random parking checks will be made throughout the semester by Officer Waycaster and anyone parking without a tag could be ticketed or towed. If you need a parking tag, please see Angie Reeves. The Gordon County Health Department would like to help you protect would like to help protect you by providing flu vaccines in grades 6 through 12. The flu vaccine will help protect against strains that are expected to circulate this year. Flu vaccine clinics will be September 29th at Calhoun Middle School and September 30th at Calhoun High School. See Nurse Nicholson for more details. Community service opportunities are available through the Gym Theater Habitat for Humanity in the City of Calhoun Recycling Department. See the office for more details. In CHS Sports, Letty Jackets beat Murray County yesterday by a score of 63. Emily Mitchell collected two hits each with one being a two home runner followed by Ryan Brzezowski and Maddie Green with a home run each. Emily Weatherman had a double with two RBIs. Emily Mitchell was the winning pitcher, striking out seven batters, and Tori Gaddis got the save. The Lady Jackets will travel to Gordon Central today, and the first pitch will begin at 5.30. And now a special announcement for all CP American Lit students. Today start, today start coming by after school to Ms. Chadwick's room between 3.20 and 4 o'clock to recite your poem for bonus points. The poem is due by Friday, September the 4th by 3.30, no exceptions. This is how you'll get your bonus points, by reading a poem. The longer I live, the more I realize the impact of attitude on life. Attitude, to me, is more important than facts. It is more important than the past, than the education, than money, than circumstances, than failures, than successes, than what other people think, say, or do. It is more important than appearance, giftedness, or skill. It will make or break a company, a church, a home. 
The remarkable thing is we have a choice every, dar every day regarding the attitude we embrace for that day. We cannot change our past. We cannot change the fact that people will act in a certain way. We cannot change the inevitable. The only thing we can do is play the one string we have, and that is our attitude. I am convinced that life is 10% what happens to me and 90% how I react to it. And so it is with you. We are in charge of our attitudes. And back to them. <laughs> Having a birthday today is Savannah Collins, Angel Font, and Brett Potts. Happy birthday. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye.